What's going on, my fellow SaaSpreneurs? Matty Ice here from Leads for Locals. And in this video, we are going to talk about how to create an awesome SaaS product that uh, really nobody wants to cancel. It results in low churn, very few cancellations. I'm just gonna show you what I'm doing with uh, what, like, what I've currently put into my own SaaS product and what my plans are for it uh, in the future. And ultimately, we wanna make sure that uh, we're building something that is actually providing uh, so much more value than what people pay us for to have access to it. Uh, we really wanna make sure that we're giving every, uh, people everything they need to get the end result that our SaaS product promises, all right? So that's what we're gonna be covering uh, in, in this video. Make sure you stick to the end. I'm gonna show you some really cool stuff, uh, some basic things that you can add to your SaaS product to make it that much more valuable, all right? Um, I only ask as usual, if you find the video helpful, please smash that like button, make sure you subscribe. If you wanna check out the uh, this entire series, I'll have a link to the playlist in the description. And also, if you don't mind, uh, please go through my affiliate link for Go High Level. It gives you a two-week free trial, and it does help support the channel. Really, really appreciate it, guys. All right, let's rock and roll. And uh, I'm going to take you through a couple of uh, a couple of things that okay, I got it. A couple of things in uh, like I said in my SaaS product that I believe it just like I've just had really good feedback on. So uh, the first thing is uh, we want to try to offer something that can get clients results almost immediately that uh, they can use, they can implement, or maybe you could even implement for them. And the, the first thing that uh, a, a lot of times comes to mind, which should, because it's very powerful, is some type of database reactivation campaign where you can take your client's past list of prospects, run them through a pre-made campaign that you have inside of the software so that they can immediately get whether it's appointments or sales, new customers. I've done this in a lot of different industries with really good success and it works well in the business loan space as well, which is what, uh, what my product is designed for as well. But just so you know, uh, this can work for uh, like in the business loan space for this particular database reactivation, we are going for appointments, but I've also done this for uh, a hair salon and it netted it brought in like a, almost $1,100 of revenue in a couple of days, sending a few emails and text messages. Uh, we offered a 10% uh, discount on gift certificates and she made like a thousand or 1100 bucks in a couple of days. It was just, it was unbelievable. So these, these campaigns can work really, really well. All right. So, but what happens is, uh, so when, when people sign up, uh, when clients sign up to Elite Broker, they get access to all of this stuff, all right? One of those things is a database reactivation campaign where they can put a list, uh, their list of past prospects in or whatever current list they have, uh, they can put them into this campaign and it's going to send emails and text messages trying to start the conversation and get people on the phone. That's really what it's designed to do. And uh, we've had some really good success with it. It works very well. All right. So that that's in, and that, that's kind of the key of um, or, or what, like this particular type of campaign is really key to have in your SaaS product to help your clients get results immediately, because this applies to so many different industries. So it really, uh, I've yet to find any industry where this would not work. Is, is If your clients have an offer and a past list of prospects, you put that into a database reactivation campaign, you already have it pre-made, it's, it's ready to go as soon as they sign up, run their list through it and boom, you're, you're getting them results from day one, right? If you could do that, you're uh, you're going to get a lot fewer cancellations. I can tell you that. All right. Uh, another thing is uh, having a step-by-step -step training members area inside of your software. And basically what I have here is, uh, so if they click on training, you can basically, uh, so these are custom menu links. Um, I'll, I'll link to a video uh, in the description where I actually show you how to create custom uh, menu links for your, your SaaS product. But I like I, I want people staying in the software as much as possible. I don't want them to have uh, I don't want clients to have to go to a bunch of different websites to do what they need to do. I want to try to keep everything inside of the software. So custom menu links really allows you to do that. And uh, I put my training area right here inside of the software and then click this. And basically, guy, like I have a like a, yours doesn't have to be nearly as long as mine, but I'm constantly adding a lot of really powerful stuff, new funnels, new follow up campaigns, all that stuff for my clients, because Here's the thing, guys, the, the mindset of this is you, you always want to be thinking, OK, what can I add to my SaaS product that is going to benefit my clients? All right. And that that's um, for me, that's been really key. All right. Uh, and my training area. So if we go to the, just the categories alone, I mean, I have a lot of categories here. 
and uh, I'm teaching them. So obviously I have a start here section on some things, like some basic things that they need to do. And uh, I just have it laid out step by step. Here's what you need to do uh, to, you know, finish customizing your account, like setting calendar availability, integrating their Facebook and uh, Google pages and things, just basic stuff like that. Um, we all like, I actually should, should put this here. Um, I should put seamless onboarding or easy onboarding, right? That's actually a, a really powerful way too, because when people sign up, if they're stuck trying to get everything up and running, then they're much more likely to cancel. Like, oh, this isn't what I thought. This is not working. So you want to have a very seamless, uh, very easy to implement onboarding process. I actually do most of the onboarding and setup for my clients. I talk about that in another video. But having at least some type of training members area, which of course inside a go high level, you can create under sites here, go to memberships and you can create your own membership areas that you can literally implement right into your, uh, your, your SaaS product right here. And, um, you know, like this first module here, this first category, it's, uh, it's basically start here. All right. This is what you need to get it set up. And then I show them right here, how to upload their import, their list of contacts and put them into that database reactivation campaign, right? So they can get started immediately, hopefully getting some conversations and appointments on the book, right? On, on the calendar, right? Uh, from there, I have a step-by-step -step CRM training on some very specific things that they need to know how to use. That's going to help them maximize their results with the software. So I show them, and I'll just give you, I'll just show you a couple of them really quick. So I'm showing them like how to use uh, the pipeline, uh, dashboard overview, conversations, opportunities, scheduling appointments, tasks, email blasts. Uh, I break down all the automations, how to use the power dialer, creating custom fields, things like that, right? Just uh, the main things that they need to know about using the software, right? I have that all in the training area. And then from there, see, for me, it's like having a training area is much more than just, uh, it's, it's uh, much more than just teaching them how to use the software teach them other things that they can implement in their business to help them get more clients uh, if you can right like if you have some really good lead generation systems uh, uh or client conversion systems or whatever it is that you have developed for your industry that gets results put that into your training area and let them know show them step by step how to do that and then of course you can also offer a done for you service as a um, as an upsell all right i'm actually going to be uh, offering a done for you Facebook ads program uh, subscription based very soon that I'm going to put inside the members area and they can upgrade to get those done for you Facebook ads every single month. Right. So we got lead generation training. I show them how to set up uh, their their uh, Facebook ads foundation. I have really good Facebook ads training. Um, so just I mean, you could really turn your training area into a, 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 an awesome asset inside of your SaaS product that, that makes people want to stay because you're giving them so much value. Uh, real estate investors, this is a brand new lead generation system that I just brought into Elite Broker. So instead of us, uh, instead of just going after just like general business owners, I now have an entire system that allows them to tap into and go after an entirely new part of the, the market offering very same services, but we're going after another part of the market. And I gave them all the funnels, the automations, the pipeline, calendar, email and text follow up. I created all of that, brought it into Elite Broker, and now it's that much more valuable, right? So uh, uh, we'll talk about the social media posts here in a second, but just having a good training area, guys, can can really make a, a, a world of difference. Easy onboarding, just make it as easy as possible. That's why uh, having an onboarding form that they fill out as well as an on, doing an onboarding call with them really important. Just make it as easy as possible. Like I, I have a, a system where we insert their logo everywhere. Like they don't have to customize their own funnels or emails. Uh, it does it automatically. Uh, they don't have to set up their domains or Mailgun or Twilio, nothing. They just come in, they set a couple of basic things and they're good to go. So make your onboarding very easy. A feature request option. This is awesome guys. Like I've, I've had some great suggestions from my clients on what they want to have added to the software. Like your clients can be a great source of inspiration on uh, it, well, and just um, ideas, a great source of ideas for making your SaaS product that much better. So giving them an option to submit feature requests can be really powerful. So if they click this button right here, again, this is a um, custom menu link. You basically create a form inside of Go High Level there's a, when you're in the form, there's like a little integrate button at the bottom, right? Where you save it, but you can, I think it's integrating, but you can click that, get a link. And then you just put that link as the custom menu link and it shows up right here. 
So they can click this button, uh, this tab, and this form pops up where they can put their contact info in, and then they can type in what feature request do you have here? What, what, what idea do you have that would uh, make Elite Broker be better for you, that would help you get even more results, right? And they can submit that, I'll get notified, we'll review it. If it's something we think we can implement, great. We'll go ahead and do that. And I've already implemented quite a few. So uh, use your, give your clients a chance to let you know what they want inside of the software. Uh, it's really powerful. Pre-made funnels and follow-up. This is this can be really powerful too because once a, once a business has a really good funnel and follow-up system in place for the leads, it's really hard to let that go because that's working for them constantly to generate leads, to convert leads, get people on the phone uh, or make sales. You know, just depends on what industry you're in. But if you can create these pre-made funnels and follow-up campaigns, I, I mean, it just skyrockets the value of your SaaS product to clients because they don't have to now. They don't. They don't have to build their own funnels. They don't have to do their own follow-up. You're creating everything for them, and it's it's just really hard to let that stuff go. All right. So let me show you an example. Uh, actually, it was uh, the real estate one that I literally just added. Uh, but they have all these. Like I'm working on a restaurant one right now for restaurant owners. So if they they are a business loan broker that wants to specialize in going after restaurant owners for their for their business, they're going to be able to do that. They're going to have the funnel already made. They're going to have the follow up that they need, the pipeline, the calendar, all that stuff is I, I give them pre made. So if we go into this, uh, we'll just go into the real estate one here really quick. Um, I give them an opt in page. Uh, there's a questionnaire right here. This is the calendar one uh, calendar page to book appointments confirmation page. That's pretty much it. You uh, you really don't have to it's not complicated. You don't have to um, <clears throat> you have like customized funnels for every single client. Like we have a, a way of like inserting their logo and, and stuff onto every every single page. And we do that and all their follow ups. But in general, I mean, you could you could offer the same types of funnels to your clients and because they work. Right. So if you can make pre-made funnels and then pre-made follow up campaigns. So I'll show you the uh, I mean, we kind of have just a ton of automations inside of Elite Broker where like the follow-up emails, for example, I've literally written dozens of emails for my clients. They don't have to do, they don't have to write a single email uh, and put that into their follow-up campaign. I already did it for them. And it's got their logo, their contact information on it. It's it, it, it uh, every email links out to their own funnel, right? So it generates leads for them on autopilot. As long as they, they're bringing people into the system uh, into Elite Broker, Elite Broker is going to do a lot of the hard work for them. So all of these right here, these are pre-written emails that I've given my clients. It's just, it's really hard to let that stuff go, guys. So if you, uh, if, and not to mention, you know, it, like we're not just talking about low churn and, and a few cancellations here. Like I, I want my clients to do very well. That, that's, that's very satisfying. It's, a, it's an important part of being a SaaS agency owner is not just creating products and, and you know getting clients and stuff like that. Obviously that's good. We have our own goals, but we really wanna make sure that uh, we are getting results for our clients. It's just, that, that's the most important thing. If you do that, you're gonna do well, okay? So adding this stuff is really gonna help your clients uh, do a lot more business as well, which is gonna be really good for you, all right? So uh, consider offering some type of pre-made funnel and follow-up that you can give to every single client. Just put it in your snapshot, good to go, all right? Regular updates and new features slash content. So again, uh, like a lot of the updates that I've done recently have been requests from my clients. But um, the the most recent update was this real estate campaign. Um, you know, because I could easily like uh, these three funnels right here: Funding Hero, Business Funding Plan, Free Business Funding Toolkit. Those are my three original funnels. I could have stopped there, and Elite Broker would be great. But why stop there? Why not keep making your SaaS product that much better, giving your clients more and more tools that they can use, more and more resources? Maybe there's a specific part of the market that they want to go after. Who knows? This comes down to knowing your audience. What I know about my audience is that they want to go after certain parts of the market. I actually I teach them to do that right in my in my training. Um, obviously, they're not going to go after every single industry, but they only have to pick one, right? But the point is, is that um, these resources are here for them whenever they want to use it, right? If they get a system in place that's doing really good in real estate funding and now they want to expand, maybe they can expand out to restaurant owners. They at least have that option. And again, makes your SaaS product just skyrocket in value. Um, so I constantly add um, 
uh, new funnels, uh, or it doesn't even have to be anything that complicated, guys. I, I don't want you to get overwhelmed with this, but adding a simple additional email to your follow-up system that you give to them uh, once every couple of weeks or something like that, even that is can be really valuable because now you're adding to their long-term follow-up campaign or, you know, like uh, I just added a new automation campaign for them for their pipeline to uh, create another touch point with their prospects. So when they put their prospect into a particular stage, they're gonna get an email and uh, that prospect will get an email and text message. Like right here, I just added this one in underwriting, which basically just sends an email and a text to their prospect, letting them know, hey, your application is under review right now. Just wanna keep you in the loop. I'll let you know when they come back with a decision or if they need any other documents, okay? I'll just keep you in the loop. And it's those it's those little things, man, that, that just makes such a huge difference. Those those micro little touch points, uh, staying in front of your prospects, it's really powerful for them. And if I can create something that automates that process for them, it's that much more valuable. Close and funded. I have automations in here that ask for testimonials and referrals, uh, or reviews and referrals automatically. All my clients have to do put them into the stage in the pipeline, and it automatically sends a uh, review request and uh, uh, it asks for a referral, right? So just adding these types of things constantly, guys, just making your SaaS product that much better, that much more effective at getting the end result for your clients, uh, definitely low churn rate for sure. And then lastly, I'll just talk here uh, really quick about a monthly bonus that I offer and uh, it's social media posts. You don't have to do this, but if you can come up with some type of monthly bonus that you create for all of your clients, you put it into the member, excuse me, the members area or wherever, uh, I'll just show you what this is. So every month I create uh, really quick because this, it doesn't take me that much time. And of course you could hire somebody to do this. I create uh, a minimum, uh, sometimes it'll be more, but a minimum of four social media posts specifically for their industry that they can post on all of their social media platforms. And it acts as a, it serves as a really good complement to a lot of the lead generation training that, um, that I have in here, but just something basic like that, uh, some type of monthly bonus that they get every single month with their subscription can go a really long way. So every month they can go into the training members area, click on monthly social media posts. They click right here and right over here are their social media posts that they can download and post on their profiles guys. And it, it doesn't, it takes me, it doesn't take me that long to, create them. They're really good like infographics and stuff that talk about business funding and stuff like that. It's designed to help them generate more leads and get more people into the elite broker software, right? So I, again, I want to give them, give my clients as many tools as possible to get the end result, right? And that's what this is, right? So anyways, guys, uh, I don't want this video to be too long. Hopefully that was helpful. Those are some really cool things that I've added to my SaaS product to just, just make it that much more valuable. You know, obviously you wanna be doing things like, uh, you know, setting up their Google stuff, uh, like Google My Business Messaging, uh, maybe the chat widget, uh, you know, a lot of people talk about those, uh, the basic things and you wanna have that, but it, it eventually, I mean, you wanna keep adding stuff that's more geared to, uh, like it's not, it's not just the general basic stuff. Like I don't like offering just basic stuff. I want to offer, I wanna create something that is just so awesome nobody would ever consider canceling it and it, because it's getting them such an amazing result that it would be foolish to do so, right? So anyways, guys, uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, and I would love to hear your ideas and, and what you are adding to your SaaS product as well to make it really valuable for your clients. I'm, I'm always open to that. So leave me your feedback. Uh, check out the links in the description. Check out the playlist and you know join the Facebook group, all that stuff. And uh, I really appreciate your time, guys. Hope you're crushing it. And I'll talk to you in the next one. Peace.